What's up, you wild tigers? Welcome to another game design show. Today, we're going to talk about the lens of resonance. Now, to use the lens of resonance, you must look for the hidden power. Ask yourself these questions. What is it about my game that feels powerful and special? When I describe my game to people, what ideas gets them really excited? Have I had no constraints of any kind? What will this game be like? And if I have certain instincts about how this game should be, what is driving those instincts? Law of resonance is a quiet, delicate instrument. It's a tool for listening to yourself, listening to others. We bury important things deep inside ourselves, and when something causes them to resonate, it shakes us to our very core. The fact that things are hidden gives them power, but also makes them hard for us to find. This is this is really resonant with how my situation is. Things happen, you bury them, you say, I think I have a control over them, and then out of nowhere, bites you, You're, or something shakes your life up, and it comes back up to the ground, comes up into the light and you go, oh my goodness, this, this is, this, I didn't realize, I forgot about this. And so now, for instance, you play a game and something happens sort of the same situation, it brings it out and you connect with it more. This happened to a lot of people who got a war. Coy Barlog talked about it. He said, people came up to me and they said, you know, you really helped me understand how my father is. You really helped me connect with him. You really made me feel what he feels. People started being more empathetic and, and that feeling change a lot of people's lives. People play the game more, not just because the game's good, but because the game resonated with them. And people, they, the person told Corey, said, you changed my life. You reestablished the connection with my father. Those things are why I love game design, why I love video games and stories. Games can heal, can, make, can show the problems and heal them, and bring them to light. And we create characters that try to solve their own problems. Because to be honest, nobody knows how to solve their problems. You can go for self-help, you can go for entertainment, you can go for anything. You'll find an answer. It's about going deep inside. And deep inside is the answers to make great games. Games that resonate with the whole wider world of audience to bring things into life, to make things seem very relatable. And I want to inspire people that way. I want to motivate people like that. People have always told me, hey, you should be a motivational speaker. I say, I don't like that. People say, you should do this and that. I say, you know, I want to do it through games. And not even in a way where it shoves it in your face, but it's there quietly. It slowly resonates with you. You slowly get connected with it. And then one day it hits you and you go, I've seen this before. I've seen how it's played out. I know what I need to do. So that's really all I got about the lens. We can talk about the back to reality. You may think that all this talk of resonant themes is too lofty for game design. And for some games, maybe it is. Super Monkey Ball have a deep resonant theme? Maybe not. But it certainly does have a unifying theme which helps to drive the design. Resonant themes can add great power to your work, but even if the game doesn't seem to have one, it will be strengthened by unifying theme to the same experience. Some designers reject the notion of theme because they say the players will never notice. And it's certainly true that some players can't, clear, can't always clearly state the theme. But often, the reason that all these elements are reinforcing a the theme that is where the designer intends a secret message. Theme is about focusing your work towards something that holds meaning for your players. Different designers use theme in different ways as part of the design process. Now it's time for us to explore many other aspects of game design. And we're going to do that next week. As always, guys, keep designing, and you are a game designer.